So the, the overall aim of the trip is to test out the different fin types that uh, Mark's been able to 3D print. So we want to measure the performance of our fins because what we've designed is a what is called a performance feedback loop where we start with computer-aided design to design our fins, then we use 3D printing or additive manufacturing to print our fins. Then we do laboratory testing. So we test how stiff are our fins, which is important for the performance of fins. Then we use computational fluid dynamics to assess how does a fin perform before we even put it in the water. So we put it in simulated water, we look at pressure, and then we take it to the ocean laboratory. And the ocean laboratory is where we can get accomplished surfers, can take these fins and then put them to the test on the real life conditions. The thing about macaronis, and, and certainly you'll hear it said elsewhere, is that it is mechanical, and, and that's the reason why we're here. It provides the same type of wave every time, um, which means consistency of data, and it allows the surfers as part of this project to perform in a certain way, to ride the same type of waves, to do the same types of turns. I think Macaroni's is your wave pool in the ocean, your ocean wave pool. It's, it's, it's mechanical. You can expect the wave to do a certain thing, and which allows you a canvas to replicate and do as many turns, so. We tried testing at home. Obviously on the Illawarra we have beautiful beaches. They're beautiful but they're very inconsistent in terms of the surf. So in terms of the size of the wave, where the waves come from, it's just really difficult to have that consistency. Every fin has a different personality and, and, and the benefit of macaronis is you can really uh, feel the differences because you have so many different chances to hit the wave and there's so many options and sections that you can really try to give variation into your surfing. Obviously different surfers, different shapes, different wave conditions, different weights, all different things go into make up what fin is going to suit not only the person but the person in that particular session or that particular wave. Speed, power and flow is what we're looking for in terms of, of uh, performance. So we've made three different prototypes. The first prototype is designed to look exactly like a commercial fin that is produced by the main manufacturers. The second fin has, we call them grooves, some people call them crinkles. They look like crinkled crisps almost. And what that does, what the performance feedback loop has told us, that changes the lift to drag ratio. And lift to drag ratio allows surfers to use and make, use the fins to make faster maneuvers, better maneuvers, more powerful maneuvers. What I notice is that it mainly just gains more power. So when we go out on the boat, the surfers go out, they don't put their fins in. We put the fins in their board. We basically blind them to condition. So when they're out there surfing, they come back to me after a certain number of turns and they have to then fill out what we call a visual analog scale. This is how they feel about the different fins, the hold, the drive, the speed, all these types of things that surfers look for in a fin. Obviously each fin had its strength and weakness and, and allowed you to cer certain ways. For me personally as a surfer, when somebody rips the bag out of a wave and sends buckets and buckets of spray up, that gets me really excited. One of the hardest parts for me has been I am on a boat measuring. I am watching people surf all day. As a surfer, that is just, it's coming close to torture. For me as a shaper, getting to watch all the guys rip on, on the boards, that's been, you know, that's so satisfying for me. It's to be part of a group that's so varied. So we have six surfers who are coming from different backgrounds with different surfing capabilities, two very smart um, kingpins of the project, if you like. And interacting and engaging with all of those people, both in the water and out, is certainly a highlight. So there's a highlight for me is um, personally getting to, to work on a lot of my surfing and, and gain a lot of knowledge about my own surfing um, and have that validated by a lot of the data that we've, we've gathered. It's also been a massive opportunity to really work on equipment and fins and step outside my comfort zone with riding different fins and different shapes and different boards. It's not every day that you, you do get asked to 
go on a surf trip and test a bunch of things. Travel through the place.